Welcome back to Clear Lake Fishing TV. Decided to make the drive up to the upper lake today and well, figured out why I haven't seen any boats. They're all up here. <laughs> Makes sense though, it's a lot more shallow up here and the water warms up quicker. In fact, it's pretty close to 50 degrees. I launched at the county park today and came over towards the state park. I'm at the mouth of Kelsey Creek where it seems like everybody else is. <laughs> There's like nine boats around me. Uh, let's see if we can make it happen. Let's go. Water coming out of Kelsey Creek is beautiful. Nice green color. Clear. Oh my gosh, that's clear. Let's see, this is a seven foot. Yeah, there's seven foot of visibility. And there's 49 degree water. Fantastic. Come here, buddy. Ooh, he's still got some fight in him. Excuse me, Rusk. Hey, buddy. Oh, good morning, handsome. Good morning. There we go. Nice little creek bass. Healthy, happy. Go enjoy that clear water, pal. Boy, that's clear water. Well, that's a good start. Good start indeed. I can't get over how clear this water is. I was just fixing to turn around and go back out to the lake too. Spent nine hours on the lake yesterday and all I had to show for it was a crappie. That's a clear lake crappie. But I was fishing deep. And I ran all around that redbutt arm. I hit every point. And I was fishing, what, 15 to 30 feet of water? I hit every point. I went all around the Anderson Island. I went up into the Narrows. I made it almost to Shag Rock. I did fish that flat. That was about as shallow as I got, but it's still sitting there in, I think, 12 feet of water, if I remember right. Maybe they're shallower than I thought they'd be. It is warmer up here. It's a little above 48 degrees in the creek. I thought it was going to be a muddy, nasty mess up here in Upper Lake. You listen to the reports, and they're saying like six inch visibility, one foot visibility, big old mud line coming out of Rodman. Uh, that may be true, but not here. Oh, the upper lake's so shallow. I know it does warm up a little earlier than the rattlesnake and the red butt arm. Maybe I should have been coming up here all week so far. I have a good feeling about today. My teeth aren't chattering. <laughs> That's pretty welcomed. Oh, that feels like a good one. Hell 
yeah, that's a nice fish. That is a nice tubbers. Hell yeah. That's big fish of the trip so far. Nice to finally get a little clear lake five pounder. Let's catch another one. I love catching Kitex swim bait fish. Yeah, she smacked that thing too. Kitex 4.3 on a little underspin. I'm super thankful for that fish. That was a nice fish. Not gonna lie, that fight was a little challenging while I was brushing here. She was fixing to tie me up and have her way with me, and not the way I like. Wouldn't it be great if she was here? The one. Tis the season for PBs after all. see many people going back there because it looks snaggy. So I'm gonna try and do what people don't do. Let's see how this works. Swim's good. I guess it works good. Man, she's the one. Look at that toad. Big ol' fatty. Oh no! Oh, that was like a seven pounder. Oh man. Brutal. Brutal, that was her. That was her. Oh. Seven pounder. <laughs> that was her. Oh, dude, I'm just sick right now. <laughs> Y'all might see a grown man cry. You see the giant mouth on that thing and that huge belly? Oh, gross, dude. <laughs> Losing good fish is awful. I know, I gotta shake it off, get over it, and keep fishing. Thanks for coming fishing with me today. It was a bit of a better day than yesterday. At least we did better than that one crappie. Uh, let's see, we started the day with, uh, what was it like a three pounder in the creek? And then we got that five pounder in the willows. 
And then the heartbreak, we lost that seven pounder or more. Uh, everything was hooked up on some variation of a Kitek with an underspin. We'll be back tomorrow. See ya.